ni uvelo zin yar yara yaras boom 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 big big yar people must stop acting like they are putting me on because i had make these comments like we talking about him they're giving him the the, the platform you're not putting me on This is Musa Langeni and this is our first episode of Yar Bekosa <laughs> <laughs> featuring me and Biggie Biggie. Big. Biggie Biggie. All right. Uh, I am so happy to actually have you here and see you well dressed for this. You're ready. How mm. are you feeling? Uh, I'm feeling good and mm-hmm. I'm feeling amazing. Uh, I'm just chilled. Thank you for having me on my show. Who is Bekosa? Uh <laughs> Thank you for having me. Don't not be like balaba. First of all, I just want to say a very beautiful um sisi. Uh continuing to your question, who is Big Cosa? Big Cosa is uh is basically my real name is Sisi Tuabo. Mm-hmm. Uh so Sisi Tu is the main person behind SOS and Big Cosa. Mm-hmm. So Big Cosa is SOS's alter ego. So SOS came in first and then There was because, because yeah. Oh, okay. So we're not labeling because as a gimmick, but rather as an alter ego. Yeah. Like, what is a gimmick? You don't need gimmick. Like, I, I don't know what's a gimmick, man. Like, I, I, I get so like... teased when I see that word, like, gimmick. Hey, my daughter, what is a gimmick? <laughs> it feels like people are insulting me when they're saying this is a gimmick. So, yeah. But wouldn't you say they're trying to say, Ruti, you're basically... Uh, using Big Cosa as uh, you know your marketing strategy, mm, and then mm, SOS mm. is the real rapper, the real MC. Well, yeah. How how would you actually describe that? Um, Because I, you don't want us to say it's a gimmick. Yeah, when I started doing music, I started making music as for SOS. You mm, know? Mm. I did a lot of remixes. I remixed a lot of people's songs, like here in South Africa. Mm-hmm. So I was remixing my piano songs, every genre, like with with in, mixing it with the rap, you know? uh-huh. and I was posting that on Twitter. On every comment section, I was there. Right? Mm-hmm. But I saw it was not really, really working the way I wanted it to. And then this year, uh, uh, when I moved to Johannesburg, mm-hmm. uh, I was building a platform on TikTok. Mm-hmm. You understand. Mm-hmm. So when I was building a platform on TikTok, I used to do like most of my stuff in Corsa, like pretend like I'm actually in the studio recording a song, but it would mm-hmm. sound funny. Those clips would go viral on the internet, but people didn't know it was me. So I've been going viral on the internet, but people didn't know it was me that I, time I until I did the the this song. That's when the word Big Corsa came when I was recording that uh, big the, the the song the this song. That's when I said, okay, let me name myself a Big Corsa. Uh, after I was recording that song, so the difference between the two, Big Cosa is more out there, fearless, say whatever he says, whatever he wants to say, he doesn't care about how you're gonna feel, and then SOS is more like the English guy. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so is Big Cosa not? Uh, let me not even go there. I wanna ask you about le- your diss track, mm. right? What inspired you to actually say, you know what? I'm going to do it and no one is going to tell me anything about it. Ha ha ha. First of all, which camera do I look into? This one. Uh, I just want to tell people that I'm the best rapper alive, man. I'm the best to ever do it. I'm the best to ever step on the mic or to ever touch the mic in South Africa. I'm the best ever. Nobody can Can I swear? Shit, it's my show. I'm going to swear. Nobody will ever fuck with me when it comes to rapping or doing whatever. I do not care where you are from. I'm the best ever. Ninja Matamu Daisus. Back to your question. Uh, the reason why I did that, uh, number one, I felt like I'm the best rapper alive. Mm-hmm. And then number two, I saw, man, okay, this this is this is gonna be my stepping stone to getting where I where. Like mm-hmm. that this song was really, really necessary. It was necessary for me to do it mm-hmm. at that level. Because I had a platform, I think I had like 10,000 followers on TikTok, and I was doing Boma. 70,000, 100,000 views on, on TikTok videos with just 10,000 followers. So mm-hmm. I saw I had a platform. I knew that song was gonna go viral before I even do it, did it, but I didn't think it was gonna get me to this level, you understand, of being recognized all over the country. Mm-hmm. I thought it was just gonna be one of those where I go viral and nobody knows who I am. Mm-hmm. But then uh, when I did that, it was a calculated move. I knew it was gonna work. 
but I didn't think it was gonna take me to to a level. That that song's got over six hundred six hundred six hundred and forty. Hey, I'm Jacob Zuma now. 600,000 views. Let's, let's just end it there. 600,000 views. Yeah. It has uh, 600, 000, over 600,000 views. And that's like two months, you know. Mm. So it really, really blew up that way in South Africa. And I knew it was going to do that. Everybody that I dissed on that song, I've never met you, but fair to. And I don't know what's going to happen if I meet you in, in, in life, in real life. I don't know what's going to happen. If you decide to move me, you'll move me. But so any long my team, that's what I'm gonna tell you. You will not not finish it. But care, okay, in honest, the reason I dissed you, Jens, I had nothing against you. Uh I was not trying to fight you guys or anything, but I used you guys as a stepping stone to get to where I wanted to get. So that's the reason behind the this track. I didn't mean any harm to anyone. I love you, Jens, but even though I love you, I'm the best rapper. I'm better than all of you. I'm the best rapper in South Africa right now. Thank you. Ah, okay. Hey, so I, I take a lot to reply. Ne? <laughs> yo, yo, yo. <laughs> hey, the thing is, I feel like I need to explain a lot of things, touch on things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you did touch on a lot. Yeah. But then for now, we're going to have to take a break. You guys, when we come back, we're going to be talking everything concerning him, speaking uh, about Casper, your empty, you name it. Boo, boo, boo. <laughs> so as I was saying, like I don't have a problem with. Uh, let me look into the camera. But Fetu, I don't have a problem with you, like Saul, or I actually love you, like Fetu. But the reason why I responded that way is because it really affected my business. Right here on Yer Big Casa with me, Busa Langeni, featuring Big Casa. Big B. <laughs> I did say that we're gonna be talking everything uh, regarding your lives. You know, you talking about MT, talking about Casper, but I really want to start with the McG. Uh, podcast and chill um, thingy. We know that they gave you uh, roughly two minutes, a uh, few uh, seconds of their time, uh, talking about your recent music is it recent i think yeah. it's the most recent with you featuring i funny and you said i make the cuckoo <laughs> <laughs> i make the cuckoo <laughs> the cuckoo must go <laughs> okay baby girl um talking about that man like you know first of all i'm a fan of these guys i'm a huge fan of the make and Chill podcast mm -hmm. i used to watch it i used to like, actually call my friends yo james let's watch this shit like I think back when my 2019, uh, 2020, like we used to watch a lot of that, right? Because like, I felt like it was, it was something that is new, like in South Africa, not a lot of people were doing that. I used, I, as a person, like I used, I watch a lot of interviews. Like I love watching interviews. I like watching people talk. Mm -hmm. So seeing that being done in South Africa, it really like, it was, it was very amazing. Mm -hmm. Okay, now fast forward, I become big cause a boom, okay the hottest rapper in South Africa. Yeah, that's what I, I became. So um, right now I did the song Ikuku first. That was the, the song I did alone, right? And nobody said anything about the song. Like it was out, people were loving it. It was not receiving any blacklash. So me and Ifani did the remix of the song. As soon as I put Ifani on that song, she started getting a lot of backlash from people. Like a lot of people were like, man, this song is trash and all, but I did the song. It was exactly like that. What changes that I finally put his verse there. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, boom. These people have like 200,000 subscribers. They react to the song, right? Uh, what was their reaction? Their reaction was they call the song trash. I do not have a problem with you not liking my music. Mm -hmm. I don't have a problem with that. That's your choice. You have your own preference. Mm -hmm. But when you have a big platform like that, you watch what you say. I'm going to tell you the reason why. Because after they said what they said, I lost the gig, mm -hmm. understand? Mm -hmm. And that means like that was money that was coming to me. I had to send back deposits and all that stuff after mm -hmm. being paid. Mm -hmm. And the reason I lost the gig is because they called the song disgusting. And uh, there were comments under like that video, like this video is disrespecting mm -hmm. women and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. So they said, nah, we can't have this guy after the, 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 the remarks that those guys made on their podcast. So like somebody can, will come and ask me like, but because I you these people though, like, 
why do you like have a problem with people dissing you? I don't have a, a, an extra problem with people dissing me. If I, were the, if I was at this level that I am, I would have never dissed any of those rappers that I've dissed. I would never say, Costa teach your music is trash. I would have never said those things because like once you have a platform, I understand like people follow whatever you say. So like they have a platform, it influenced the organizers of the event to, 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 to cancel that show. So that's why I reacted like that. Cause like uh, I, watched, I watched the podcast on a Monday and then on the same Monday I recorded the song. Tuesday I shot the video and then Wednesday we, we, we dropped the video. Mm. So like that was like, I needed to, to react on that. And what pissed me off is that I lost money due mm. to that. And what I'm just simply saying is this, when you have a platform, you just gotta like watch what you say because you don't know what you're doing. Because they have followers. Like, mm. if I say to my followers right now, don't fuck with MT's music, Pers like a percentage of them will listen to me, like, I must not fuck with MT's music because you have a platform right now. So, right now, even if I want to say uh, this guy's music is trash, I cannot come out and say that in public. I'm just gonna have those conversations, like, behind closed doors because I know, like, it's gonna fuck up someone's thingy, like, if my, some of my fans were his fans, they're gonna start like believing what I say and they're not gonna even pay attention to that. I so, have a question. So that, 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 that was the reason like why I reacted that way. Um, yeah. More than you would Yeah, yeah, it's fine. But then anyway, um, I have a question. You know, you remember when you released Laying Goma where you were dissing other artists? Yeah. Did it ever okay, Oguti? Perhaps it's the same thing that you're they, that they're doing to you. Uh, it's not the same thing because like nobody knew me that time. Mm. I didn't have any platform that time. But that made you blow. The, that I, means you had a lot of viewers. No. When I, I did that song, I was on 1,000 subscribers. You understand? Uh-huh. And then after that song, right now, we're talking I'm on 55,000 subscribers. You understand? Just after that song. I didn't have any sort of e a platform that would even like, you understand? So they already have 200,000 subscribers. That's, that's the difference. As I'm saying now, I have 55,000 subscribers. I cannot diss any further, like anyone further. I cannot say tr shit about anyone unless they say shit about me. I cannot do that, you understand? Mm -hmm. Because of the platform that I have. Because I'm going to influence like, people to not like that other person. Like I'm saying, like, this is not a joke. I lost the show because of, of what mm -hmm. they say. Mm -hmm. Like on the Monday, like after that podcast, I got a call like, yo, man, we've been seeing like the reaction for mm -hmm. your song and I funny and uh, da 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 <laughs> here they don't really like think you'd be a good fit for a show you understand and that's not the only show I lost because mm. I am me mm. I don't know if these questions are gonna come up but let me just talk man I feel like I haven't talked in, in like a lot of people have been waiting for me to talk and, I and this is my fucking you. show you show me I'm there I have to say whatever I want to say okay listen yeah uh that's not the only thing I lost because mm. I'm big cousin mm. there have been brands like that have been coming to me like, okay, let's collaborate and all that. Then one other person that does not like me being me, because this is me being myself. Yeah. And then it's like, nah, we can't have this guy because he's this, da, 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 you know? And also like, uh, but what really broke my heart is when we were in, in PE for a show, like we, up, immediately after uh, like that song blew up, mm -hmm. I started doing uh, shows around the country. So we were in PE. When I arrived on the show, they're yeah. like, nah, we can't let you perform. After this track. No, 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 not uh -huh. after this track, before. but like before this, I dropped the coco before this, this track. No, I'm just saying, I'm talking now about people that have been canceling me because uh -huh. of me being me. But the Meg G thingy. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. I'm not understanding. Oh, yeah. Because of you being you or because of the Ikuku track, which one? I dropped the Ikuku song, right? Uh-huh. As a solo. Uh-huh. And then I did it with Ifani. Uh-huh. So after those like remarks, Michelle, after I funny. yeah, after those remarks, that's that's when those those a lot of people started link, started canceling and like the shows and all that shit. So as I was saying, like I don't have a problem with. Uh, let me look into the camera. But Fetu, I don't have a problem with you, like Saul, or I actually love you, like Fetu. But the reason why I responded that way is because it really affected my business and. I had to, I had to actually stand up and say something, you understand? And what also pissed me off is that you guys never had a problem with this song before I found it, but as soon as I finally got into the song, that's when the problem started, you know? So I don't know if your problem is with, 
I funny or whatever, but I don't have a problem with, yeah, I still love your post podcast. Just that, uh, okay, let me not get into details. Cause then there's our now and there's I'm cool and it's cool. I'm cool, I'm cool. Yeah. All right, um, you said something about not making music for trust fund babies. What do you mean by that? Oh. The, 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 the yeah. one. Yeah. yeah. Um, when I said that, like, I don't make music for trust fund babies, but because, like, you know, I'm always on social media. I see things. So I was looking at, like, the type of people that hate me. The type of people that hate me, it's like, Twitter calls them sent in Twitter, bro. It's like those cheese boys and what, what. That's what I've seen. Like, like most of my haters are cheese boys and all that stuff. And then upcoming rappers. Rappers that feel like I don't deserve to be the best rapper in South Africa. But rappers that feel like I am, I don't deserve to be here, yeah, bro, at this level. But I'm still grinding now. I'm deciding, you know, this is not the level that I want to be. I want to go further than this. So I looked at those people like my haters. And then that's why I said, like, I don't make music for trust fund babies. That's why it's hard for them to relate because they don't know the things that I've been through. You understand? Because, uh, like, I come from a very, like, fucked up place, but we're going to talk about that first. So some of the things I say or do in songs, they don't relate to them because they don't know the life that I, I, I've seen, like, or the life that I lived. understand? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. It's not necessarily about base two. Like, I'm not saying Meg G and Soul are trust fund mm, babies. I'm mm. just talking about generally everyone. I actually thought you were talking about Meg G no, and no. Soul. I, I was just talking about everyone when I was looking at my haters, like, tell me that hate me. Mm, I do understand. But then, anyway, um, if I were a person that's just viewing things from outside, right? I would say, Uguti, Soul didn't necessarily discredit the whole of your music. Mm -hmm. He just said, particularly that. That, that song, song, there's something wrong with it. He even went as far as saying, your music, you're a dope um, right. rapper. And you are. You mm. are. I've seen your music, Ilanga. Mm. I've seen your music, right? Mm. You are dope. But then what do? You, why do you feel so offended when this particular person, Ati, no, uh, this particular track, he didn't say your music as a whole. This particular, I understand you've lost a few things, mm. but do you not think that the very same people that you dissed and your, your, your other track have perhaps experienced the same thing as you and also as well was it not scary you know going out like that wouldn't you say Guti, um you know they have a right to actually uh, go and file defamation of uh, a character uh towards you you know did you ever think yeah they can do that they can do that so have you ever thought about <laughs> uh, that okay let me just say this uh they say some nice things about me but you've known about me way before You've known about you. your now first you time. Are you, blowing up. No, no, no. The first time you talked about me, you, you talk trash about me. That's the, that's what pissed me off. The first time that's 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 one thing that got what to me. What did you do the first time you, you spoke about that? <laughs> <Wait, wait. laughs> no. uh, Can we be fair? Has, has, has been, listen, looking at it that way, I understand your point of view. Yeah. Like, you get it from. But look at where I was and look at where, where they are. Uh, uh, well, no, isn't it too good when I but when you were so brutal towards them. One no. they might they must be like ha, ah, but no, because I know some they, he's gonna lose gigs. Can we just look at it? From no, no. That are, you, are you talking about like okay? Uh, my response to them, or you talking about generally the this song that I did to the, everyone? This song, dog. The this song. <laughs> no, like this song. That was where we were. Like, if I had, I were to reply this question maybe in court, like I feel like my shit is justifiable in okay, a way. Okay, you said court managing it's a defamation of character. So I uh, your honor. Born, I needed to do it. I needed to get out. Who the rappers? Oh, if I do, if I take hey, one, if any rapper takes me to court for a this song with Kaka Yomdu, if you take me to court for a this song with Kaka Yomdu, don't do that shit. Yeah, Utini, ha, a rapper, I'm taking big cosa to court. We, 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 ah, uh, hell no. You are a post if you do that, man. Yeah, it was just games. This thing. As I was saying, like back yeah. to back to the leg G, like. Mm. I love those people, uh, but uh, I was just disappointed that the first time they spoke about me, they actually said some crazy things about me that I did not like, and especially looking at their platform. But yeah, I don't have a problem with them. Man. Like, I'll, if they call me up for an interview or whatever, I'll still do it. But I don't care even if they don't call me. Like, you're not taking away anything from me. And I just want to say this: like, by talking about me, this is not ego or cockiness. Like. 
People must stop acting like they are putting me on because I had make these comments like we're talking about him, we're giving him the, the, the platform. You're not putting me on. I got myself here with the help of my fans. Like I got, I got here because of the people that support me. So you're not putting me on on anything. And people know this. Once you mention my name on YouTube, on YouTube, Ikamalam is the hottest thing. Once you mention my name, you're going to run up views that you've never done on YouTube. And this is facts. I've seen it happen. Yeah, so when you mention my name, that's also my audience coming to watch you. Yeah, so what I'm saying is like, I don't have a problem with you guys. If you want to sit down with me, it's cool. If you don't, then it's cool. We can move on with our lives. And and and, and, the, and like It is what it is. It is my me. beautiful lady. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. With a lot of questions. Yeah. Um, what inspired you to actually write the Ikuku song in the first <laughs> place? I make that coco. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, what inspired me, uh, I'm not going to lie to you, it's Ikuku, man. You know, when Ikuku is nice and you're like, hey, sh-. first, actually, this is how, like, most of my stuff has been able to trend. It's like, when I get on TikTok, I do a freestyle, like, just with no beat or nothing, then I post it. Uh-huh. And then I see the reaction. Mm-hmm. That video of the making the Kuku, I just did a, a little freestyle about that, and it did, like, 600,000 views just on TikTok besides me. I decided, like, let me turn this into a song, I'm but that was just inspired by making the cook. There's nothing extra. I watched the music video, honestly. The I first one or the second one? The second one with you and I funny, um, right? Yeah. I have to clarify this. I've got no problem with you making the, the cook, right? Yeah. What I was questioning is, you know, on the music video, there's uh, like a paper where you say, like, <laughs> oh, let me just say this, my <laughs> friend. <laughs> let, let me clarify what that. that? Uh, the G- whole. G- I, I understand. G- I, I understand. No, you want me let to me be just a supporter? Let's hear it. Uh, I do not care what people think, but I'm gonna reply. I do not care what people think about me or the things that I do. But uh, the whole concept for the Ikuku video, the second one, it was I find his concept, right? Like everything, it was his concept. I just let him. Even like, the kuku ianuga. Yeah, that was his whole concept. Hey, like I, 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 I just let him do whatever he wants. <laughs> uh. huh, okay, okay. Back having a talk right here on your Big Cosa. It's me and Big Cosa. Don't attack me on the cook. <laughs> he's been doing it. It's, it's a uh, uh, because, Okay. Stop it. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, I want you to tell me your relationship with Nota. What is your relationship? What's going on here? Uh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of people like have been calling me like he's not your manager is this 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 um first of all like i don't have any paperwork relationship with the nota uh nota is not my manager and uh but i'm gonna say this though the first time i trended like i trended on a fr- on a friday and then on a saturday morning i trended on a friday uh, and then on a Saturday morning, Nota was the first person in the industry that reached out to me. He was actually the first person. He showed me things like uh, like me, making me meet certain people, mm-hmm. like you know, trying to push me forward and all that. But it's nothing deeper than that. Like uh, just someone that is trying to help me. Like he's not managing me or he's, he's like, nah. And uh, he didn't put me on onto anything. He found me like my motion moving. So he's just trying to help. And I'm gonna say this though, like, I I, I don't I, I might not agree with, with with some of the things Nota says or what Nota is about, mm-hmm. but what I love about Nota is his fearlessness. He's fearless. He's bold. You understand? Mm-hmm. He says things that other people would not say. You know, mm-hmm. that's like he resonates with Big Cosa in that way because like Big Cosa says things that other people wouldn't say. He's not scared of anyone or anything. You know, mm-hmm. so that's that's I, I admire his bravery and all that stuff. But that doesn't necessarily mean that I agree with everything he says. Mm-hmm. Like, I pick things that are going to build me. And one other thing is I do not get involved in Nota's beats. 
Whoever Nota is beefing with is not my beef. I'm here like to, 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 to chase my dreams and try to get money, like change my family's life. That's what I'm here for. And this game is in those Abanya Bandu. I don't handle other men's businesses. I don't get involved in that. So if Nota has a problem with someone, it's not my problem. It's his problem with that person. That's why I even work with people that have a problem with the Nota. I work with them mm -hmm. because I'm trying to show people that Nota's problems are not mine. You understand? I appreciate the love he's showing me and all that stuff. And yeah, he's trying to help wherever he can. But it's nothing like deeper than that. There's no paperwork relationship mm -hmm. other than that. Yeah. Oh, okay, so do you guys have a personal relationship or it's just a thing of you helping you there and there? It's not really anything that's personal. Uh, when you're talking about personal relationship, uh, like in what sense, what do you mean? Okay, I could be helping you, but then on the side, I'm your friend yeah. or I'm your brother's friend. Anything like that? Uh, or it's just you guys seeing each other on social media and it just ends there, no, no DMs, nothing. Now nah, we, we, we still continuously talk on the DMs, okay, like what do I need and all that stuff. But I wouldn't say like we are we are friends because friends is a like a deep thing, you know. Mm -hmm. It's just somebody, I met this person like one month or two months ago, so mm -hmm. like we haven't reached that level, but we're trying to, to get there and all that stuff. And the other thing about me, it's like uh, I'm aware of what's going on, like, like mm -hmm. I'm aware of what's going on. I I, I see people. I, I like I look at people and see how they move and all that stuff. And that means is that like it's difficult for me to just become friends with with someone like just like that. You understand? It takes so you're time. not friends. We you just would, know each other. Yeah, I wouldn't say we are friends. We we just know each other because we can spend a friend is somebody like you see these guys that I came with here. Yeah. I talk with these guys every day. They know like what I go through and yeah. all that stuff. Like those are those are my friends because. Like we talk daily on a daily basis. We're always connected. Mm -hmm. As far as the Nota thing is, like, okay, when Nota like is trying to, okay, do you? What do you think of this? What do you think of this? Those are the type of conversations mm -hmm. that we have. It's not like deep, deep stuff. Like, uh, as much as Nota has opened this door for me to reach out to him whenever I need something, but that's not something that I, I like. I personally would just do like to 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 to, to go get something because I don't see him as a friend just yet mm. understand because mm. i'm still new to him he's still new to me but my friends that i came with here if i need something i'm gonna pick the phone up very quickly i'm not even gonna think twice about it i'm gonna call them like yo bro i need this bro do you have this and all that stuff so that's the friendship mm -hmm. but not that just someone that i know right i understand that what more do you want me to know about this whole entire issue and also as well um when you actually came here you did mention that you would like to say a thing or two about what's happening in south africa currently mm. i think that'd be a good thing seeing that um you actually once posted uh on twitter that you know uh, young people are having to go through a lot to actually get jobs mm. i'd like to hear like just a simple input with regards to what's going on from you as a young person that's in this industry. First of all, let me ask you this. When you look at me, like, what do you think of, like, my mental capacity? Do you think I'm a dummy or...? I can't really think you're a dummy with all the things you've said so far. No dummy would say that, eh? I think you're uh, actually a very good rapper. Okay, let me catch so, you there. Yeah. She's saying good rapper. I'm a genius. <laughs> genius. I'm a genius. Indeed, genius. Genius, <laughs> genius. Yeah, genius. Yeah, genius. Okay, genius. Uh, okay, let me, let me just say this. <laughs> Let's uh, but wait. on a real, on a real, like, uh, real note or mm -hmm. serious note, it's, mm -hmm. um, uh, What's going on in the country is actually breaking my heart, Jebo. Uh, first of all, I do not condone like looting. Like, no matter what situation you are in, some people say people are hungry, so they go out looting and all that stuff. Nah, I don't do that. Like, yeah. basically, the way I see looting, I see looting. Looting is being selfish, actually. Because if you complain about poverty, mm -hmm. when I go take out things that are not meant to be mine, mm -hmm. I'm actually creating poverty for someone else. You understand? Mm -hmm. So it's being selfish when I go out and take things that are not mine. You understand? It's like to the people that justify looting. It's like if I come mug you, mm -hmm. say I take your things. Let's say you 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 would. Uh, buying things for your babies, food for your babies, then I come and take all those things away. What are your babies going to eat? Mm. Just because of my po poverty, I must make you live in, in fear and pain and all that stuff. Nah, it's not good. So it's very, very not good to loot. But fair to say no to looting. Don't loot. So uh, starting those Number two, what I'm going to say on this matter is like, 
people are fucking tired, bro. Like, at the same time, when, as much as I'm not condoning looting or I'm not saying, like, it's a, it's, a, it's a good thing, but people are very tired. We actually, like, hey, me, I'm tired of being led by Otam Kulubam and all that stuff. We need fresh people. We need fresh blood, man. We need new people to lead the country. We need people with new vision and all that stuff, you know, because... It doesn't make sense, man, like for people that are over 70 to be still in office and all that stuff. Like it really doesn't make sense. What are you doing there, Grandpa? You should be raising your grandkids, Yabo. Yeah, mm. yeah should so. should be retired. You should be retired. Having yeah, vacations. Yeah. Bring <laughs> people with new fresh <laughs> ideas, people that understand. And also leaders that are very disconnected. Um, mm. Before I finish, leaders that are very disconnect to, disconnected to what is going on to, 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 to South Africans. It's mm. like... If you grew up uh, like in a very comfortable home, I don't have a problem with that. You've never been in, 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 in Alex. I don't have a problem with people that grew up comfortable. It's fine. It's the life your parents built for you. I don't have a problem, not hating on that. But when we put such people in power, like people that are spoiled brats, according to, to, to my view, like they don't understand what a regular person is going through in Alex. So hence, like when they're in power, they do whatever they want. Whatever that's gonna suit them, whatever is gonna benefit them, they do it. If today I wake up feeling like, okay, fuck it, I'm gonna close the country, I'm gonna close it. If I, today I feel like I'm gonna open the country, I'm gonna open it. Because I don't know what a normal person in South Africa is going through, you understand? I've never experienced it. So I, I feel like we need leaders that are, are connected, not people that are disconnected to what is going on like in real South Africa. The real South Africa is the people that are struggling going through poverty. You know, so if you know this particular type of life, like just this one that you are living and you don't know this one, it's going to be easy for you to just do whatever you want because you think everyone is just as comfortable as you are. You understand? Mm -hmm. So we need like leaders that are not disconnected from the people. We need fresh leaders, youth. You understand? And then uh, what did I say? Number three, looting is not good, Buffett. Don't do it. Yeah. All right, cool. I think we're done. Do you have any more to add to this before we cut it up? Yeah, uh, on the next episode, as uh, I'm Shuku Sha, hey, Tosa, why? Because I is being killed by Tosa. I thought my English bundles were the only ones that are depleting, but Tosa too. Okay, my friend, um, next episode, I'm going to touch on subjects like uh, about Casper, MT, Umisali N, uh, how do I manage to trend every time I drop? Like, yeah, those type of things. Yeah. All I just want to say is, yeah! <laughs> <laughs>